Right, after a very short break I'm back and I uh, will show you um, why I like this. Um, apart from the obvious thing, I've literally got hundreds of them, um, so they're going to be free to you. Uh, my students that is not the whole of the world. Um, and if you like, and you don't have to, uh, you can use uh, crimp terminals. Now, crimp terminals are a type of mechanical fixing, so there's lots of different types. This is a selection I've got at home of one particular, the red type. There's also yellow and blue. Red's the only one of interest to us here. Um, but there are different sizes, so I don't know if you can make that out. But one's much narrower than the other. Um, also, there's a difference in thickness, so um, if you're at school, I'll have the right ones. And if you ask for the switch, I can give you the right ones as well to match. Now, um, these crimp terminals, the wire is going to go in here, and then this crimp terminal is going to get, get pushed onto there, and they're a really, really firm fit. That means you don't have to do any soldering. Uh, I, the only drawback, really, for you is that um, the crimp itself is actually quite long. Um, and as a consequence of which, um, if you've got like a narrow case you're fitting this into, it has this year been a, a bit of a problem with some people, so my recommendation is um, don't make your case too small. And if you want to make it small, use another switch or um, maybe solder on the wires. Now, um, to do these, um, these crimp terminals, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. These crimp terminals have a small hole in there. Um, so, um, the hole size should be just a little bit bigger than the wire. Now, I've got some fairly uh, decent wire here, not too thin. Let's just strip it off for a moment. Okay, I'm using stranded wire. It must be stranded wire to use with these crimp terminals. And push that in the hole. I don't know whether you're going to be able to make this out but it's just just sort of poking its head through there. Um, it's got to be in there sufficient that when we actually crimp this down so that's just going to be like squeezing down on that that it, it firmly holds on it. Um, if say you had um, stripped too much there would be bare wire it would look rubbish um, risk of shorting out so just don't do that be sensible. If it doesn't look good, also if you've got any strands peeling back or something like that, don't accept it. You know it's rubbish, so um, strip it off again and do a proper job of it. Um, this is a crimping tool. Just see them out. This is a crimping tool. It's got red, blue and yellow there. Uh, they correspond with the sleeve colour there. The crimping tool, it's got a ratchet. So when I've started pulling it, now I can't pull the thing open until I firmly squeeze it and then it opens again. So I'm going to put the crimp in. It's quite difficult to show you this on the video, but hopefully you can see roughly where I've got it there. Then I put the wire in the crimp, make sure I can just about see it there on the other side and firmly crimp. Now my crimping tool is very easy to use, I don't know why the school's one isn't. It's rubbish, that's the answer, but um, this one, no blame against the school by the way because I purchased it, but um, yeah this one's a lot easier. Uh, you'll see uh, that's uh, nicely crimped, that's really quite strong and then so that's that's firm. That's not going to fall off. They use these in cars and things. They're just uh, they're pretty pretty robust. Um, certainly good enough for your projects. Okay, so that's quite nice. Now, how would you actually use that in your circuit? So I'm just going to pause here and then I'll carry on with the third part. 